Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is ArcCore Orn Lodbrock. Now, a little bit different from what I normally review, uh, but this caught my eye for a couple of reasons. One, um, it has some very strong Warhammer 40k vibes. And back in the day, I used to be very big into Warhammer 40k. I used to play a Space Marine army. And the design of the figure actually reminds me of Warhammer 40k Space Marines. Another thing is um, the second offering in the sign. So you can see this Arc 01. Well, Arc 02 is actually a transforming figure that this fi this uh, character can ride in. So it's a pretty interesting backstory to these guys. I'll go into that a bit later, but let's take a look at the box first. So a very cool looking box because you have this nice big window where you can see the contents of the box. And then on the back, you have this kind of cool box art here. And here on the side, you can see that it comes with a stand, highly posable, and what it's made out of. Okay, let's get Orn Lodbrok out of this package. Here is Orn out of the package, and as you can see, he comes with a lot of things. But let's go over this map that was included behind the plastic clamshell. Now, if you go to artcore-world.com, you're going to find a lot of information about the fiction behind this character and the world that they live in. And Orn actually comes from Vec, so these eight uh locations are actually the eight different kingdoms in this world and vec is one of them and that is his kingdom so kind of cool check it out i'll put a link to that website in the description below comes with an instruction sheet with the same art that you see on the package here on the back you can see a little bio about him and it is in japanese but if you go to the website there is an english version of his bio there that you can uh, check out now in this world, there are giant transforming mechs and he is the pilot of one of them called Frostlight. Now not everyone in the world can control these mechs because it requires powerful and rare mental powers, um, which Orn has. Okay, with the fiction out of the way, let's get to the figure. As you can see, a lot of things here. Now he does have six different options for his hands, but only three types. So he has a left and a right pointing hand left and a right open hand, and a left and a right thumbs up hand. The hands on the figure can just pop out like so, and you can pop in the hand of your choice right back in, like so. He comes with two grenades, a revolver, a holster for his revolver, a backpack, a war hammer, which has some nice silver paint apps, a shield, an axe with some nice gold paint apps on the blade. Some armor plating for the back with some nice clean bronze paint apps. And his cape. You can see there's some posability there. And Orn himself. Let's take a closer look at him here. Very nice clean paint apps on him. Like you can see even on the head. The tattoo is nice and clean along with the stampings on the arm overall very nice paint job on this guy some stampings on the shoulders and i don't see a lot of excess paint on him which is very cool for something this small i mean look how small this is as I said earlier, it has that Warhammer feel, but it also has a little bit of steampunk in it. Check out the head sculpt. That's kind of crazy. You can see the eyes are actually painted. Wasn't expecting that. Moving on to articulation of the figure, the head is on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, up and down. The arm can rotate 360 can lift up at the shoulder this high. It's kind of cool this piece moves out of the way to do that. You can rotate at the bicep. You can bend at the elbow this much. Rotate at the wrist. It does have a bit of an ab crunch. You can rotate at the waist 360. You can do the splits. You can kick this far up, this far back. His whole pelvis can move forward like so. 
He can bend at the knee this much. He can rotate at the thigh this much. He does have ankle tilt and his foot can go back and forth like so. Now, I forgot to mention inside the pamphlet are some instructions on how to assemble him and actually load him out with all his equipment. Uh, so there's various loadouts as you can see here. And with the stand, you get a lot of options to store all the accessories that he comes with. Okay, let's just start with a simple loadout with his backpack pegs right into here. His cape clips on and unfortunately there's a little bit of a stress mark. I might have to take a, a blow dryer to that. And then this part simply clips in here. I think this is my favorite of the loadouts. It's kind of plain and simple, but I like it. You can snap his ax in his hand. Holds it very nicely. And then his shield in his other hand. Very cool. I'm really liking this tiny figure. Stands very well because the feet are nice and big. So, hey, right, let's put him aside and look at the base. Now, the base has a lot of cool features. Of course, he can stand on it, peg into it like so. Now, besides him just standing plainly like this, the base has other options, which is really cool. You have a little flight stand here that just flips out. And just like that, you have a little flight stand type of base. And you can just peg it into the small hole here. And gives him the illusion of flying or doing something a little more dynamic here. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like that there are a lot of options. That's the big thing that I like about this set. Now, all the little extra connectors here that is included with him can store in this base. So let's get that going. And here we have all the attachments and one grenade stored on the bottom of the base and it is actually very secure a feature that i like a lot i forgot to mention the holster actually pegs here on the back and then the gun can go inside like so i don't know not the best place to put a gun i think i'd rather have it on the thigh now unfortunately there's no place to store the extra hammer uh grenade and hands but the fact that I could store all this on the bottom of the base, um, I'm willing to overlook that. And there you go. Looks really cool. I gotta say, th this figure just embodies so many cool things that I like. Um, brings back memories of Warhammer 40k, War Machine, and you have the steampunk look, the space marine look. And then, of course, with the upcoming mechs, you have transforming robots. Uh, really excited for the rest of this line can't wait to get them in hand anyway that is it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe follow us on social media and check out our discord links in the description below